with the release of Claude's new Sonnet 3.5 large language model, which in fact is the best large language model out there. There have been many that have been trying to create intricate AI agents by utilizing the large language model's capability. This is where people have started to create open source versions of Anthropic's artifacts, which is a live interactive environment that represents your prompts generation in the UI. Some people in other cases have solely used the model to generate the code for website designs as well as interfaces where they have been accurately able to utilize the vision capabilities of the Sonnet 3.5 model to fully code out all the pages of a website, which you can see on the screen right now, where someone generated the code for Twitter's UI, but with the LinkedIn interface. This goes to show how intricate this model's new capabilities are, and it's solely the best coding-based large language model that's out there. But today, we're going to be focusing on another cool project called Claude Engineer. This is a new coding engineer that utilizes the new Claude Sonnet 3.5 model that can create, read, and edit configure files and folders through a simple chat interface as well as through your CLI. Think of it as a streamlined local artifact with the added advantage of creating entire prompts directly. Now it can even support online search, which is something that would be really useful to reference other types of programming languages. This is something I'm going to be showcasing throughout today's video as I showcase how you can get started, what are the capabilities, and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at Worldway I. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Claude Engineer, which is created by Pythro. This is someone who actually had created the Gemini text to front end application, and he has been killing it, guys. Definitely recommend that you give him a follow because he is always putting out great work. But throughout today's video, we're going to be taking a look at his new application, which is Claude Engineer, and it's an interactive command line interface. He's actually currently working on a chat UI for this. So this is something that would be released within the next couple of hours. And basically, this is something that harnesses the power of Anthropic's new Claude 3.5 model. And it's going to aid software development as well as helping you develop code. And it's a tool that merged with the capabilities of the large language model with practical file system operations as well as web search functionalities. Now, there's many different types of features such as an interactive chat interface with Claude 3.5 Sonnet. You have file system operations where you can create folders, files, read and write files. You have web search capabilities using Tavli's API. You have syntax highlighting for code snippets, project structure creation and management. And lastly, you have code analysis and improvement suggestion. Now, this is something that I definitely recommend that you try out because it's an AI agent framework for utilizing the new Claude model to help you in coding capabilities. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. So how can you get started? Well, first things first, you need to make sure that you have an API key with Anthropic. You can set this up and generate a key after you have connected your billing account. So make sure you have this ready. You need to make sure that you have Python installed as your programming language, and you need to make sure that you have Git installed because we're going to be utilizing this to clone the repository onto our computer. So once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, we can get started. So first things first, you want to open up your command prompt if you're on Windows. So you can just simply open this up. Once you have done that, you can copy this code, which is git clone and the GitHub repository. Once you have done that, you can paste this into your command prompt and click enter. So in this case, if you have an error with this, what you can do is you can just simply go click on this green button, click copy, scroll back down, type in CD clone or git clone, sorry. And then you want to paste the link in and it should clone this repository. Once that is done, you want to go into the Cloud Engineer directory by simply just pasting this in, going into this directory, and then you want to install the dependencies that are required. You can do that by pasting in the pip install r requirements command. 
This will start installing all the things that are necessary for this application to be functional. Once that is done, we can then add our Anthropic and Havli API keys from the start of this file. And this is something I'll showcase in a bit. So what you'll need to do next is set your API keys for Anthropic and Tavli. Then to do this, you can open up your ID and this is where you can open up the Cloud Engineer folder. What I did is I just simply opened up the folder in my ID and I went over to the main.py file. So what you want to do next is then set your API key here for Anthropic as well as for Tavli. Once that is done, you can just simply click save and then you can close this. And to get the Tavli API, you will need to go over to this website, which is app.tavli.com, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. If you want to sign in, but in this case, I don't have an account actually, so I'm going to create one. Once I've done this, I'll be right back. And once you have signed up, you're going to be able to copy your API key from Tavli. This is something that you can just simply copy and then head back into VS Code and paste it in over here. Once you have done that, you can then click on Save. And once that is done, you can then simply just close this. Now, next is running this script. And this is by simply just copying the python main.py command, going back into our command prop and just simply clicking enter. This will open up the cloud 3.5 Sonnet engineer chat, which is where you're going to be utilizing your client to interact with it. So there's a couple of things that you can do. Once you get started, you can interact with the cloud engineer by typing your queries or commands. Some examples are create a new Python project structure for a web application. And there's so many other things that you can get started with. For example, you can explain the code in a certain file. You can search for the latest best practices in React development, help me debug this error, and you can basically paste in the path as to what error you are having in a file, or you can just basically copy and paste that code snippet within your command line. Now, I know at the moment, the command line might not be as efficient as something as a chat interface. And this is something that he's actually developing on to create that solution. So definitely stay tuned. But that's just a brief overview of what he has basically created. The Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is something that I truly recommend that you try out because it's definitely the best model. I actually made a full in-depth video, which is testing and showcasing all the features of it. So I truly recommend that you take a look at this. But that's basically it for today's video on this engineer. It's just a video emphasizing how you can get started, how you can install it, and what you can do with this. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you take a look at all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon because it's a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest hand news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.